Hi everyone, it's Jessalyn Art. I'm really excited today to teach you how to create some amazing glitter brushes. Let's get started. The first brush we're going to create is a glitter lettering brush. And like most of my brush tutorials, we're not going to draw anything on the canvas. We're going to go straight into creating our brush. So I'm going to open the brush library. I've created a glitter brushes brush set and I'm going to tap the plus sign to create a new brush. First thing I'm going to do is jump straight to my shape menu and I'm going to change the shape source. So I'm going to tap edit, import, and I'm actually going to use the source library that comes with Procreate for this brush. I'm just going to open the source library and for these brushes, you can actually use any of these shapes are really good. Any of these flat brushes, anything that has sort of a weird shape or grain, you can experiment and get some really fun textures with these brushes but I'm going to use the splash source for this and I'm going to tap done. I'm going to increase the scatter just to create a nice effect to about 125 percent. It just makes sure that the brush isn't smooth. Then I'm going to jump down to my grain and I'm going to change the grain source. Again I'm going to use the source library that comes with Procreate. And this bonobo grain is great for glitter brushes. It really has that glitter texture. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to increase the scale a little bit and decrease the zoom, but you can play around with this. And these, the scale and the zoom will create quite a different texture and create quite a different brush. So you can play around with these settings as well. But the most important thing to do is to change the blend mode to linear burn. That's what I'm going to do right here. And this is on my grain. Next, I'm going to jump to my rendering menu and I'm going to change the rendering to intense blending. I'm going to change the blend mode to add. This is also really important for our glitter brush. Now I'm going to jump up to stroke path and I'm just going to decrease the spacing a little bit and I'm going to turn up the jitter a little bit. So the brush isn't completely smooth and it has a little bit of a jitter effect, a little bit of a roughness to it. Because this is a lettering brush, I'm going to turn the streamline all the way up to make it really smooth. And I'm also going to jump down to my Apple Pencil menu, turn the opacity down. I wish they would set it to 0% <laughs> instead of always setting it to 100%. And if you have an Apple Pencil and you want this to be a lettering brush, turn up the pressure size to about 80% is good. You can set this to your own preference. But this just means that the harder you press, the wider your brush is going to be. Let's, so you can see uh, the harder I press, the thicker, the wider the brush is going to be. So if I turn this all the way to zero, the thickness is the same throughout. But we're going to keep that at 80%. Lastly, I'm going to turn up the maximum size just a little bit to about 300 something percent. And then I'm going to tap done. Now we have a glitter lettering brush. The second brush we're going to be learning how to make is a bokeh brush. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a really pretty brush that you can use on all your backgrounds. So let's get to creating one right now. I'm going to go straight into creating a brand new brush and jump into the shape menu. I'm going to tap edit, import, open my source library, and I'm going to use the bokeh shape. And this is really important for this specific brush. I'm going to tap done to save and I'm going to increase the scatter again to about a hundred and something percent. This is again completely personal preference. Then I'm going to go to the grain and I'm going to tap edit import source library again and we are going to be using the bonobo grain but I'm going to actually invert it. I'm going to bring the scale up so that it gives it that nice texture and bring the zoom all the way down. And again, we're changing the blend mode to linear burn. Under rendering, again, intense blending and blend mode is add. So this is kind of the default for glitter brushes, at least the ones that I've created. I'm going to leave the spacing at 17%, but I'm going to change the jitter and I'm going to bring that all the way up and that's going to give you that spread out bokeh effect. I'm also going to change the maximum size and bring that up just so the brush is a little bit bigger. And let's take a look at our brush. 
you see it's really pretty and it creates that bokeh effect now one of the fun things to do with brushes that i haven't done before in any of my tutorials is to combine them with any kind of texture brushes it's really fun to combine different brushes to create different kinds of textures so i'm going to duplicate this brush so that we have two of the same and i'm going to select both of them when you select two brushes you get the option to combine them so i'm going to tap combine and then i'm going to edit my combined brush here you can see on my two brushes on the side and you can edit them individually the second brush will always have a few, slightly fewer options and we can change the combined mode so you can tap on this brush and you can see the combined mode currently it's set to normal this is a blending mode that will combine the brushes in a specific way so for this combine i'm going to set it to overlay what i want to create by combining the brushes is a multi-layered bokeh brush so it gives a little bit more dimension to our brush so i'm going to set the combine mode to overlay and on my second brush i'm going to change the spacing a little bit i'm going to change the jitter a bit i'm going to go down to my shape menu i'm going to change the scatter so that you can see the brushes all different and the biggest change that i'm going to make is changing this grain source so i'm going to go to edit it and i'm going to invert it back to the default so there you see it creates sort of these bokeh little spots in the background and you get a much more condensed version up here and i'm also going to change the scale and the zoom and just like change it a little bit to create a little bit more dimension to give slight differentiation to the two brushes and i'm going to leave everything else exactly as it is so i'm going to tap done and let's see what difference this makes so this is our original brush and let's use you can see they kind of overlap a little bit and maybe it's not that different so if we look at the difference here but it does give a little bit more dimension you can see that there's some little spots further back and it just makes it a little bit more 3d a little bit more interesting and that's it those are the two glitter brushes i have a set of 20 glitter brushes on my website that you can go and check out and if you want to get the brushes that we created today you can click the link in the description to get them for free if you like this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more brush tutorials and comment what kind of tutorial you want to see next thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one